Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be going over the newest, the fastest, the best duplication glitch available for you to farm your materials and up your rupee count, allowing you to get some of the rarest materials possible. So if that sounds good to you, let's get right into the video. But before we do, put a thumbs up on the video and make sure you subscribe for more future Zelda Tears of the Kingdom content. All right. Now the first step to this glitch is you're going to want to come down to Terrytown. Once you've located Terrytown, you're going to want to stand in front of our man Pelison here. Once you're standing in front of Pelison, select the item you want to duplicate. We're going to do diamonds because I know that's what most of you want to duplicate because they sell for 500 rupees. So let's do that. I have seven right now. So we're gonna drop one and fuse it to our sword. Once it's been fused to our sword, all you gotta do is look at Pelison and save your game. Once your game is saved, the next step is simply to hold R like you're gonna throw your weapon. Next, right as you release your weapon to throw it, all you have to do is hit start to go to the load menu. It's going to look like this. Next, you just load your save. What this should do is the weapon we just threw should land on the ground in front of Pelison and it should stay there, but we should still have the weapon in our inventory because we loaded the game. It's a little inventory hack or trick. Let's see if it worked. All right, it didn't work that time, so let's try it again. Throw it, load it, and let's see what happens. The timing does have to be perfect. But I think this is a little easier to do than the electricity glitch that requires Link's house. All right, see, we got it on the second attempt. There we go. So as you can see, I still have a diamond sword in my inventory, and there's a diamond sword on the ground. Now. We can drop both of these to show that they are both real. And if you were going to farm these for materials, you would just come up to Pelison, pay him the 20 rupees to break it down. He will simply break it down back into its base materials, which is the sword and the diamond. This is a great way to get other good swords too. If you have a sword with maybe a good 10 plus buff on it, you can duplicate the sword. But for this video, we're mostly interested in the diamond. So, now I have seven diamonds still in my inventory, but I still have the diamond sword. Then you can come back to your starting location, drop the sword, save your game, and do it all over again. Load your save. And hopefully this will show that it's not too difficult and the timing should be a little more forgiving than the electricity glitch where you had to display the weapon in the display case inside Link's house. All right, there we go. Two for three. As you can see, I still have seven diamonds. I still have my sword in my inventory and there's another diamond reaper on the ground. All right, guys, I hope this video helped you out. Make sure you throw a thumbs up on the video and subscribe for future Zelda Tears of the Kingdom content. Have a good night, guys.